Hello, my name is Gary Tibbetts. I'm the owner and chief engineer of Quantum Harvest. This is my Model 5000. This is the uh, next to the largest one that we make. The, the next one, next size bigger is the Model 6000, which we have a YouTube video of that as well. That's also on YouTube. So if you want to come up and uh, show it how it goes, gives you, give you an idea of the size of it here. I'm standing beside it. Open it up here. You can... Uh, See the components inside. This is a 6,000. This is actually a 6,000 watt inverter, continuous duty. It's the same inverter that's in the model 6,000. It's got the 50 amp AC battery charger. It's got a. This particular model has the Ames MPPT solar controller. So the, the control panel's over here. So to to use it, you simply there's nothing to put together here. All you you simply do is turn the main switch on. You can see the got an amp meter and a volt meter here. You've got a there's, a there's some 12 volt system here for USB charges and, and uh, plug in cigarette lighters and whatnot. This this is turned on here. Ordinarily this is off, so you turn this on. And it allows you to use this stuff here. But generally this size model is generally going to be used for the AC power here. So that's where we'll focus. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this in. I'm going to run, I'm going to actually going to run the whole house on this. So I got the cord already laid out here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug this plug this cord into standard to standard four prong like you would use for any generator. Get it in here, right? And it just plugs in like that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn the inverter on. It's hard. It's hard to tell in this bright sunlight, but the LEDs will come on, and when it, when it's when it's running, you can't really see it here. But there's a LED that shows that it's on. It's pretty much silent. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. So then we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, then the main breaker on here. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. I'm going to shut the power off the house. So right now the power is shut off to the house. This is plugged into an, there's an automatic transfer switch in the garage. When I turn this on, you'll see the light, house lights come back Let on. me focus on the, the lights. Okay. okay, I'm going to turn it on now. Yeah. Now you can, if you, you can hear the inverter fan kicked on. So now we're, we're running, in the, inside this house is a, obviously a full-size refrigerator. We have two freezers. There's a one horsepower water pump and a number of ceiling fans and whatnot. As you can see, it's not a small house. And she's ru running everything in the house right now with no problem. So I'm going to just show us how much it's drawing off the batteries. I get my, my trusty DC amp meter. I think at this at this point the, probably the water pump was on and now it's shut off so because the inverter fan is now shut off. So this is a this is a DC amp meter. I'm going to clamp it right on this main cable here. You can see right now running the entire house. I'm pulling 37 about 37 and a half amps or so out of the battery bank. So at that at that at that rate, this is this is no there's no attempt being made to conserve power in any way in the house. Everything is on, basically. So at this point, she, she'd run the house about 10 hours. So obviously, if you were actually running, get the maximum life out of it, you obviously shut off everything that you're not actually using and probably run the refrigerators and freezers one at a time, but that's up to you. So the, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show how, how simple it is to hook up the solar panel assembly to this unit. The first thing we'll do is uh, plug in the... Now this... This combiner cable is uh, included with the unit. We're just going to go ahead and plug that in here. And now we'll bring we'll bring the solar panel assembly up and set that up. So these uh, this is our 300 watt solar panel assembly. It's portable. They're pretty easy to move around. You, just, you simply fold the wheels down. turn around just wheel it wherever you want it. This 
assembly weighs, it's about 60 pounds, so it's not a, it's not a huge amount of weight. So when you, when you get it where you want it, the sun is almost overhead here at this point, so we're just going to fold the wheels back down. And we're going to unlatch it here and fold it out. Now this three, this three panel has a top gusset strap that goes over the top of it, just fits right over these pins, just lays over here. That, that gives it rigidity so the wind's not going to blow it around. And then there's two struts on the back, lean it back. And... So that's a, that's a pretty good angle right there. I want to be a little bit flatter here. And that's it. Take our cord here. And we're gonna go around and plug that cord in. All right, simply, simply plugs into these connectors. There's no way of getting it wrong. Now this particular model here. Bring the camera up here. These these solar charge controllers, you don't ever want to put solar power onto them without them being connected to the batteries first, because the, the voltage spikes and it can damage them inside. This particular model, starting with starting with this one, there's a system that it prevents that from happening. So we'll turn on the breaker, connect that to the battery bank. You'll, if, you probably can't hear it because the wind's blowing, but there's a relay. That, after about 30 seconds, there's a relay that clicks. Okay, I don't know if you heard that or not, but the relay just clicks. So that now, at this point, we'll shut this breaker. And what na right now, we're feeding power from the solar panels into the unit. Numbers are blinking on the camera. Yeah. Although on the actual screen it shows 24.9. That's the voltage. The, the blue, the blue is the amperage. Right now the 7.6. Now this this uh, solar panel is set up for 36 volts. This is a 24 volt system, so it's putting seven and seven and a half amps at 24 volts. Now this particular system, as you can see by the combiner cable, will handle additional solar panels. This exact model will actually hold handle five of those solar panels. So one, one is probably a minimum. You probably would want more than that. You can also use larger panels. It's, it's flexible. You can use whatever you want for panels, as long as, they're tw as long as it's 24 volts or greater. So now we've, we've got something else around the house. We'll pull about 30, 40 amps. So as you can see, this system has no problem running wh whatever comes on in the house. None? Yeah, that's, uh, that's about it.